Okay, it's time to scam Timmy and Tommy. Bruh. Hey gang, and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel, and you might know of a nice little item called the Donation Box, which was introduced in the version 2.0 update. You can store 1,000 bells in there at a time if you want to. However, it turns out that this box might have a much better hidden purpose. So a little while ago, players discovered that if you sell this box full of bells to Nook's Cranny, they will actually give your bells back on top of the original selling price for the donation box, which is handy, I guess, at least they're not stealing your bells, but that's not the exploit that I'm going to talk about. A user on Reddit known as Taiwan Number One has discovered a really cool exploit or hidden feature with the donation box when you sell it to Nook's Cranny. Now, if you manage to get the donation box as one of your hot items at Nook's Cranny, a feature that you can check outside of the shop every single day, and then you sell it with bells in it, the bells inside will actually be doubled. So, for example, if you try to sell a donation box with 1,000 bells in it, they'll offer you about 3,920 bells. If you try it with 20,000 bells inside, they'll offer you about 41,920 bells. So effectively, this is a simple way to double your money if you're lucky enough to get the donation box as your hot item in Nook's Cranny. Now, the only downside is it is a little bit inconvenient putting money into this donation box. Honestly, I don't know why they made the item like this where you can only put 1,000 bells in at a time. That is such a Nintendo thing to do, but we kind of have to live with that. The upside, however, is if you were going to craft hot items to sell to Nook's Cranny, you'd basically be pressing the A button a bunch of times anyways, so you're not really wasting that much time. Not to mention the fact that almost practically any other item that you're going to get as a hot item won't yield you as many bells as the donation boxes potentially can. As you can see, if you sell a donation box that is a hot item filled up with bells, which is 99,000, Timmy will actually give you 199,920 bells, which is a lot of bells to get from selling a single item. Not to mention the fact that you don't have to worry about wasting a ton of materials crafting things just to sell them to Timmy and Tommy. If you're going to go down that path, there's almost no point using the hot items feature. You might as well just sell turnips or something else. But when you're selling these donation boxes, you can definitely make a really good profit. It's unknown if Nintendo really thought this out or if it's just something bonus they did to kind of say, hey, if you get lucky enough to get this item, then you get rewarded really well. It does feel a little bit cheeky though, honestly. I mean, you do get literally so many bells if you get this as your hot item. Of course though, like I said, luck does have to be on your side to do that. And of course you do have to go through the process of donating 1000 bells at a time, which can be a little bit soul crushing, but hey, if you need those bells, this could be a really good way of doing it. Another good tip, which actually works much more passively, is just donate to the box every time you see it and then wait for it to be a hot item. You don't have to rush to do it, but when it is your hot item via chance, then you'll have the bells already in the donation box ready to sell to Nook's Cranny, which is a really nice passive way of doing it so you don't have to go through the stress of donating a thousand bells at a time if you're not that worried about getting many bells at once. Once again, thank you so much to Taiwan Number One for sharing this tip. I really appreciate them letting me make a video about this, and I hope you guys enjoyed learning about it as well. Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. How do you make your bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. As usual, if you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.